Hello again, everyone, and thank you for joining me. As I stand here prepared to give you my final speech, I will honestly tell you I never imagined myself doing this. Not giving a public speech or even participating in a public speaking class. I'm so glad I did, though. I was very nervous, as I'm sure we all were. But the things that we were taught, that I learned, are helping me to be a better me, not only a better speaker. From learning about how to use persuasion effectively and being confident and using that confidence, how to use pathos or our emotions to really convey our message. Most importantly, I learned that public speaking is just a conversation. That's something that we do every day. Have you ever considered the amount of people that you meet in a day or a week? What about in a year's time? That's a lot of opportunities to converse with another person. That means that's a lot of opportunities that other people have to inspire us. Even better, that's opportunities for us to inspire other people. And it doesn't matter who you are, or where you're from, it just matters how you are. How you respond and treat and act towards other people. You know, offering to carry the groceries up a flight of stairs for your neighbor. Smiling at the man on the elevator. Or when you're sitting on the bus and the old lady's crying because of her passing of her husband. Just being there, being an ear or a helping hand can inspire other people to do the same. To quote Albert Schweitzer, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us." End quote. From that very first Monday, January 28, 2020, at 6 p.m., Chris had every single one of us out of our comfort zone. Walking around the halls each week with a new classmate, and personally, I enjoyed my walks with Adnan and Buhan and Natalie Nails. So thank you guys. You filled me with a moment of new experience and a lot of laughs. And Chris, I am so grateful for my experience with you that every chance that I get, I tell other people to take your class. And if I could take your class every semester, I would. Tony, thank you for sharing your love of ramen with us because now whenever I see it, I say two packs and I giggle to myself. And I, uh, same thing, when I see those Ferrero candies, I just wanna buy them all and give them to you. You showed your love for those candies and I heard it. And Bill, while we are in quarantine, Every time I find myself putting my hand to my mouth full of food, I hear you saying we are what we eat and to stop making excuses. Thanks, I owe you. Romance, every time I see the romaine, I have to laugh to myself. I would never heard anybody associate their name like that and it brings a laugh to my face. Brandon and Jody, my thanks to the both of you is that you recognized me weeks after class with my safety mask. That meant a lot to me. And if you really understood, you shook some things off and brought me back. So thank you. To the rest of my class, I really have to take a second and from the bottom of my heart say thank you. Thank you for not only listening to me, 
give my speeches. But thank you for listening about my cup. Thank you for listening about me. Thank you for taking pieces of me with you. It means a lot to me. And it relieved a lot off of me. Before I say my final goodbyes, I will leave you with this. First, understand the power of I am and I can. They don't only empower you to be a better you, but they are also a tipping point to reignite someone else. Just wake up in the morning and say, I am going to make a difference. I can help someone else today, even if that someone is just you. Your attitude, your approach, your outlook are all a part of the things that you manifest, which weigh in on the experiences that we have. Remember to think positive and remain positive, even in times like this. At the end of the day, say thank you. Whether you say thank you to God or Allah, or you're just thanking yourself for surviving the day, don't underestimate the power of a sincere thank you. Everything happens for a reason, which is how I strongly felt about our classes on Monday night. Each of us there, with the unspoken, understanding, and appreciation of one another. I really miss you all, seeing your smiling faces and hearing your speeches. I pray all is well for everyone. Take care everybody, I miss you and thank you.